Hello and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. I'm Lion Small Gaming, and last time after the episode, I was informed that there is a module that exists that allows you to play music while you're out and about. And I think that I have located the first part of it. Bingo. Just gotta find the rest, and I assume they're somewhere around here. Also, there's this. What's this have? Booster tank, we already got it. Not a huge fan of it. Would rather just used my, uh... Oh, hey! Another artifact. Was there someone else to scan? Huh. Thought I saw something. Also, we are chilling, like, right below a uh, Chalicerate. So, there's a solid chance we're gonna get attacked. That's no, okay. Uh, sea truck could be healed. Let's we'll see that. Fix her up. All right, well, let's now see if we can find another piece. No, but there's a crate. Two crates. Battery. No, thank you. First aid kit. No, thank you. Hmm. Well, we found the first module. Now I just need... Two more. Or one more. I don't remember if they need two or three. I want to say three. So maybe we ought to head up. Once I find my sense of direction. Bingo. We'll look around and see if we can't find one. Oh. Maybe there's more up here. Oh, there he is. Hi there. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh, he got me. Scan, 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 scan him, scan him. Scan him. Get him. Get it. Get him. He's stuck. Hell yeah, thanks. Oh, shit. Remember how I said never mind to that, uh, health kit? I'll take it now. Please and thank you. Jesus Christ. Man, just hit me for three quarters of my health. Youch. I think he'll still kill me. No, I got 77. We'll be alright. Now I gotta get in my sea truck and get out of here. Did he leave? No, he's like right there. Okay, we gotta fix up and just afterburners out of here. Oh, that's a freaking fragment right there. Uh oh. Escape. Don't chase me all the way down here, you jerk. Wait, how did he die? 
The Shellicerate must have killed him. Okay, then we'll just do this on foot. Or fin. Flipper. Okay, we just gotta find one more. Right there. Bingo. Perfect. Now I'm curious if there's any more modules. Oh man, some of these are so much easier than the ones I was getting. Well, regardless, let's head home. I'd say it's pretty successful. We managed to scan the Shalicerit and get a new module. And I think that's pretty good. So we're gonna head back and we'll make this new module. I'd like to carry it around with us. I think that'd be cool. And we'll go on from there. I'll see you guys at the house. Okay, back at the base. We are going to assemble all of the things that we need. Welcome aboard, Captain. And make ourselves the sleeper module. One, two. And then we're going to go one, two, three. No, you listen here. So I don't really know what else there is for me to do as far as exploring. I'm sure I've missed a lot of stuff because it's a blind playthrough. Um, but that just adds replay value for me in the future, honestly. Uh, I did the same thing with regular Subnautica. I played through the game a couple of times and I had a lot of fun with it. So I'm not opposed to heading to the phase gate, but I definitely want to make this first. And I have done a lot of just wandering around in between episodes whenever I'm, like, looking for materials. I am going to pick up more food from the base real quick, but I do want to check out this module. Oh, I can put a picture too? That's cool. I need to just take screenshots more. That's so cool. And you can sleep on a little pullout bed. That's sick. I really like that. All right, well, let's uh, slap all our stuff together again. Am I that far off? Why won't you? Thank you. Oh man, I apparently almost broke it. Gotta fix that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I think we make a super sea truck in the sense of I'm just gonna slap all my stuff together for fun. And then we will go ahead and head on over. All right. Um, let me turn that down. I like this one a lot. Okay. So. Now we got our sea truck all souped up, ready to go. 
and we're gonna make our way over here. We are not very fast. But on the bright side, we've got all our modules with us. We're ready to go. I'm, war I'm wondering how far you could take this. I feel like you could take it pretty far. Maybe I'll, uh, because I know in uh, Base Subnautica, when you beat the game, you still, uh, you, you don't save, so you uh, can hop back in right before you finish everything, the last time you'd save. So maybe I'll do some dumb videos where I just test out some dumb theories I have, like, of, oh, how many sea truck compartments can you get before the truck can't move anymore, and stuff like that. I could have a lot of fun with that. Because what, right now I've got, also, how many sea truck compartments can you have before the game can't handle the, the UI? I'm assuming I'm going back to Sector Zero, or, uh, I keep saying that, uh, Outpost Zero. Sector Zero is this whole freaking place. And actually, that's okay with me, because that means I'm driving less. Gotta hop out so the after thrusters stop. I restocked my food, forgetting that I have a bunch of food and water on here. I got four power cells there. Yeah, give me that bladder fish. We'll make him into water. And then drink him. Yum. I don't think I have my uh, helmet with me. I do have my snow fox. Eh, screw it, we'll take it. Let's do it. Number three. Let's go, Snow Fox. Man, you were behaving very strangely there, Snow Fox. Is it because you're damaged? I will fix you when we get to here. <laughs> this thing drives a little funny, especially in tight areas. All right, let's fix her up. Oh, it was much lower on health than I thought it was. That's better. Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. still wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleport, Lord, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where Architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. Oh. I mean, I guess we're ready. Let me uh, just pop down a save. Let's do it.
Okay. Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the home world safe, in hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Huh. The energy masks must be moved into place. Well, this is different. Do I get to use robot arms? That would be cool. Where do I go? Okay. Then this one? Robin's trying to kill herself. Very good. Return to me and I will initiate ship assembly. Thank you. The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. But as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yeah, you could say that. Ready to leave the past behind. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. Launching in three... Two, one. This is cool. I'm I'm kind of sad that it's over, though. I don't know. It seemed. It almost seems like I didn't figure everything out, but I don't know if you're supposed to find out what happened with Sam. And they were talking about the Cara bacterium. And I... What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls dimming. I don't know. They talked about the Leviathan with the Cara bacteria, so I don't know if I was supposed to learn anything about that, but I haven't. I just can't help but feel like I missed a lot. And if they survived? With 
you, I am ready to face whatever awaits. That's done. Wow. Man. I really feel like I missed a lot. But I don't know. I don't know if I missed stuff with Sam or... I feel like I went everywhere I was supposed to go. What cave with the Leviathan would she have been talking about? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I enjoyed this game. I had a lot of fun with Below Zero, and I'll definitely be playing it on my own again um, at some point. I I think the first game is still superior. It's pretty hard to beat the environment and the atmosphere created by Subnautica 1. Um, Subnautica 2 has some fantastic changes and additions. I love the large room. I love all the additions that came with that. The jukebox is one of the best features they've ever added. Um, the sea truck's cool. I do miss the sea moth. But the sea truck is really cool. And now that I've played through Subnautica again, the base game, um, I've learned how to pilot a Cyclops properly, and I missed the Cyclops. The Cyclops was fantastic. I understand why it's not in this game. The environment was designed a lot differently. Um, it also felt like we aren't nearly as intensive into like actually diving into the depths. And the lore in this game doesn't feel as... I don't want to say obscure. But I like the fact that the lore was obscure. Um, 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 oh, I didn't read those fast enough. I wanted to see if I got them all. I'm not sure. I just saw the disc, the jukebox discs show up. I enjoyed the game. I really did. And I'm sure I'll play through it again. And, um, if, if I come to find that, like I said, I'll do, uh, I'll do little, like, dumb videos like that, like the sea truck and if you guys come to tell me, hey, uh, you missed, like, half the game, I'll come back and pick up where we left off. I can do that. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until a few days after this releases to do any kind of looking into the lore, um, for the sake of being blind if it, if I do come to find that I have missed a lot. Um, and I may just play a bit and look around a bit, um, while on recording. I never read the Solicitor thing, so you know what? Let's hop back in, and let's read that. I don't think the ending's as strong either. <laughs> As Subnautica 1, now that I think about it. Uh, and we still have time, so you know what? We're going to continue. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the Shalicerate. Shalicerate, an aggressive leviathan with enormous beak. There is limited knowledge on this alien monstrosity at this time, and many on 4546B hope it stays that way. Shalicerate, these large mandibles on the Shalicerate are composed of bony material that crushes and saws through bone and muscle with ease. The mandibles open up while the back-facing teeth dig into flesh and prevent easy escape. The prey is pulled towards the shalicerate's mouth and devoured. Exoskeleton. The shalicerate's body is made up of a thick segmented exoskeleton. The exoskeleton grows in flexible overlapping plates. This provides protection from the atmospheric pressure while giving the shalicerate the maneuverability to easily pursue prey. Behaviors. The shalicerate is a predatory animal that patrols the warmer waters found near thermal vents. It can be seen feeding upon other predators and fish. As it attacks, the shalicerate emits a loud screech that disorients its prey. In smaller fish, it can temporarily stun them, which gives the shalicerate more time to attack. 
the Void Chalicerate is a rare mutation of the Chalicerate that prefers to room, room, roam in dark open waters at the edge of the sector. Assessment. Aggressive, uh, Void. Aggressive and potentially lethal. So I assume the Chalicerate plays the role that the ghost, the ghost Leviathan did at the end, or in Subnautica, of uh, preventing you from traveling into the Void. So I assume I'll deal with those if that shows up. Sleeper module. Replete with a for foldable bed, home entertainment system, and photo frame, the sleeper module provides everything required for one person to hunker down on for long stretches. As a utility vehicle, the sea truck is ideally operated on a 24-hour schedule. With the addition of this module, it's possible to trade off piling, piloting with a co-operator. Co it is advisable to resist attaching this module while there is a slumbering occupant, as suffocation may occur. This module is powered by the sea truck's main cabin, NB. I don't know what NB stands for in that uh, situation. Yeah, I, I'm i really curious about this cave. I wonder if I could find it. I don't even know where to look, though. Let me, let's look back at a few data logs. Bioluminescent fungus. I've got to find something. that relates to the cave. So where would it be? Huh. Thinking too small. Need to seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff made for fishing, but. It blew a hole in the ice shelf halfway deep, halfway to deep space, vaporized all the fish. Okay, and you gotta hit the lab too, or it's just, there's just no point. Okay. Man. I don't know where to go. Sash some away in one of the Pangling Research Caves southeast of the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. 
Well, where's the Leviathan? I've stashed them away in one of the Pengling Research Caves southeast of the Leviathan. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Does that mean here? Does that mean here? That wouldn't be it though. Where is this anyways? Ugh. The only place I could even be is here. But there's no bridge here. I don't understand. I don't know where to look. I simply don't. There's got to be more to find. There has to be. I'm trying to think. Where can I look? It's got to be on land. I can tell you that. My, I don't know, part of me thinks like somewhere in the ice worm area, but I felt like I explored the shit out of that place. Do I have my spy pangling with me? No. Means I need to go back regardless. Um. Let me. All right, let's do this. That is going to be it for this time, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you like down below. Subscribe if you want to be notified when I upload in the future. And it looks like this isn't the end. I... There's no way they would give you these leads and then lead to nothing. So I'm going to do a bit of looking around. I'm going to dive more into the, uh, the data logs and the stuff. Let's see if I can't figure something out. With all that said, have a good one, guys.